we are back with an update to GeForce Now. It's uh, a new blog update on the GeForce NVIDIA blog. Time to prioritize, upgrade to priority at 40% off. Uh, I think this ends in a few days, so good time to get a discount. Battle out in a new Apex Legends season and four new titles join the GeForce Now library. Make gaming a priority this GFN Thursday. Time's running out to upgrade to a GeForce Now priority six month membership at 40% off the normal price. Find out how new priority members are using the cloud to get their game on. Plus, the week brings updates for some of the hottest games in GeForce Now library and four more titles to join the list. GeForce Now 4080 pods are now live for Ultimate members in Atlanta where the game is game. Follow along with the server rollout and upgrade today for the Ultimate Cloud gaming experience. Through Sunday, May 21, save 40% on a six-month priority membership for $29.99, normally $49.99. Priority membership are perfect for those looking to try GeForce Now or lock in a lower price for half a year. Priority memberships also get higher access to GeForce gaming servers, meaning less wait times than free members. Members who claimed this offer in the first week alone played over 1,000 different titles in the GeForce Now library for 30,000 streamed hours. That means these priority members skipped that line by more than 400 hours. They also played the best of PC gaming across multiple devices, PCs, Macs, mobile devices and smart TVs, plus new categories of devices made possible by the cloud, like gaming Chromebooks and cl cloud gaming handheld devices. And they experienced the cinematic quality of RTX on in supported titles. With more than 1,600 titles in the GeForce Now library, there's something for everyone to play. Jump into the squad-based action in Fortnite or Destiny 2, bring home the Victory League of Legends or Counter-Strike Global Offensive and explore in open-world role-playing games like Genshin Impact and Cyberpunk 2077. With GeForce Now Priority, members can get straight into the action. But don't wait, this offer ends on Sunday, May 21, so make it a priority to upgrade today. Game on. GFN Thursday means more games for more gamers. This week brings new additions to the GeForce Now library and new updates for the hottest games. Apex Legends Arsenal, the latest season in EA and Respawn Entertainment's Battle Royale FPS is available this week for GeForce Now members. Meet the newest playable legend, Ballistic, who's come out of retirement to teach the young pups some respect. Battle through an updated World's Edge map, hone your skills in the newly updated flying ra firing range, and progress through the new weapon mastery system. In addition, Occupy Mars, the latest open-world sandbox game from Pyramid Games, joins the GeForce Now library this week. Explore and colonize Mars, building a home base and discovering new regions. Grow crops, conduct mining operations and survive on an unforgiving planet. As all sci-fi films that take place on Mars have shown, things don't always go as planned. Players must learn to cope and survive on the red planet. For more action, take a look at what's joining the GeForce Now library this week. Vo Void Train, new release on Steam, Occupy Mars, Far Cry 6. TT Isle of Man, Ride on the Edge 3. Ultimate members can now enable real-time ray tracing in Fortnite. The islands never looked so good. What are you playing on this weekend? We've got a little challenge for you this week. Let us know your response on Twitter or in the comments below. What do they mean by Ultimate members can now enable real-time ray tracing in Fortnite? So I was pretty sure you already could do ray tracing. Uh, I'm not completely sure what they mean by that. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm not sure what they mean. Uh, maybe this is something that's exclusive to the um, Ultimate Membership. I would like it if they did some kind of offer for the Ultimate Membership as well. Because <clears throat> right now, you can get the Priority Membership for 40% off. But there's nothing quite like that for Ultimate Membership. 
and it's really expensive to get the ultimate. It's something like forty-five pounds for a gift card for three months, which works out to fifteen pounds per month. Or for a single month, it would be something like uh, eighteen pounds for a single month. So that was the GeForce Now blog. It's good to see they're still updating stuff. See here, ultimate is ninety pounds, which is equal to fifteen pound per month. That's for six months, or you can get one month for eighteen pounds. I think the best deal is probably if you get a gift card. Then you get forty five pounds for three months of ultimate, which works out to fifteen pounds per month. That's probably the best deal if you're planning on playing for about three months. But yeah, make sure you try uh, GeForce Now. It's really amazing how technically uh, advanced they've made this. Like, it's amazing. All of these games, it's crazy. One thousand five hundred plus. It's a shame we won't be getting um, Overwatch or the Activision Blizzard games anytime soon, not after the result of this deal with the CMA. Hopefully Activision Blizzard decides, decides to put their games onto GeForce Now at some point. That would make me very happy if they did. I want to try Biomutant, that had some really nice graphics. And in other news, of course, Tears of the Kingdom just came out. Um, and I don't know, it looks really boring to me, but I'll do another video on that. It scores very highly on Metacritic. I'm pretty sure that these are just... Uh, These are just mostly people who already enjoyed the original game. Because I found the original game really boring, so I can't really see myself enjoying this one either. I don't really like how you do the uh, fusing things. It seems kind of boring. Uh, I think I prefer the old style of D Zelda games, just like Ocarina of Time, Skyward Sword, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker. I love the Wind Waker style. I hope they re-release Wind Waker on the Switch. That would be amazing. And if they re-release uh, Twilight Princess as well, I really like that. Because they did really re-release uh, Skyward Sword. But then Skyward Sword has some weird controls. And the thing with Tears of the Kingdom, you can see that it's got technical issues, like the frame rate is terrible. So obviously the Switch, isn't, the Switch is just not good enough to run a game like this. I was hoping they would have improved from Breath of the Wild with the performance, because you think after a while they op learn to optimize these consoles, right? But the performance is still looking really poor, like even below 30 FPS, which just isn't good enough in this day and age. And you might you might as well just emulate. At this point, you, you should just emulate games, especially when you can get a uh, ROG ally. Asus ROG. So it's looking like this is going to be 7.99 euros in Europe at the least. 
Um, so yeah, you should just play Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild on this. You'll have a much better experience than you would on the Switch. That's for sure, because um, the Switch is just too outdated right now. It's still using a mobile processor. It is impressive that they have such a big world in Tears of the Kingdom, but other than that, just the fact that it performs so poorly, it doesn't look like a 2023 game to me at all. Like, looking at the videos, just looks awful, the graphics. Obviously, that's just my opinion. Uh, others maybe feel free to disagree. But yeah, I, I don't really feel like I want to get this game from looking at the gameplay. I do want to try Kryzen's remastering of Ocarina of Time. That looks amazing. That's what they should do, is something like Kryzen's remake in Unreal Engine. Imagine if they remade Zelda for PC in Unreal Engine. That would be something I'd play. Because the graphics look actually really good. With even even just being made by one or two people, with Kryzen, uh, he made it look incredible in Unreal Engine Five. Can you imagine Tears of the Kingdom in Unreal Engine Five? That would be really really nice visuals. This just looks so outdated to me. So I will not be buying this game. And if I do decide to get it, then I will just emulate on a, on a Steam Deck or a Asus ROG Ally. I'm not going to get Steam Deck actually. Steam Deck really sucks. Like the screen is terrible. And the ROG Ally just looks way better. The only thing about the ROG Ally is it doesn't have the thumb uh, trackpads, which are pretty good when you're playing PC games. So let me know if you're thinking of getting Tears of the Kingdom. Does it interest you? Feel free to leave a comment.